feel like I always have some good life pondering when my eyelash glue is drying. All right, so today we're doing a full face drugstore first impression video. I have a shit ton of new products here. I went into Walgreens to pick up one thing and ended up walking out with 15 things. I also placed an order online Ulta with a bunch of new releases because I was on there the other day and there were literally eight pages of brand new products. This is the season. It is the season for new releases. Thank you, drugstores. So I'm trying out some new products from Jordana, Physician's Formula, Revlon, L'Oreal, a new brand that's being carried at Ulta. Lots of good stuff in this video, so if you guys are excited, make sure you give this a thumbs up. My hair is beyond needing to be washed right now. I'm on like day four of dry shampoo. Keep it in classy. So if you wanna see how I got this look and what I think of a bunch of new products, you're in the right place, just keep watching. All right, so I've already washed and moisturized my face, but I'm gonna prime using the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I've used this a few times and I like this. It's like a stick, obviously, primer, and it feels super cooling on your face until you blend it out. And I just like to use my fingers. It does get a little bit tacky when it kind of sets into your skin, which is good for prepping for foundation. It also smells bomb. It smells super fresh. So I have two sponges that I'm gonna try for foundation. I might use one on one side, one on the other. This is the NYX Flawless Flint Flit. Flawless Finish Blending Sponge. I believe this is new. It was on the new section on Ulta. And then I also have this, which I know is new. This is a Revlon sponge, professional blending brush. This is very interesting looking. It says you're supposed to replace the sponge every three months. It doesn't say on the back of here if you're supposed to wet this. I never have good luck applying dry sponges, so I think I am gonna wet this thing. It is super tiny not wet so this might be good for actually like under eye concealer but we're gonna try it for foundation shape wise this next one looks almost identical to the pure cosmetic sponge it has this flat edge right here feels pretty nice and squishy for not being wet i have a giant bowl of water here really great for all the technology around so i'm gonna wet both of these Ooh, this next one is getting very large and it's super squishy this is promising yeah this next one feels really nice and squishy i feel like i have to sneeze <coughs> It doesn't look like there's any glue in this contraption. I'm pretty sure it just detaches and kind of screws out. So I think it's okay to dampen. I don't know, we'll find out. A little bit tricky to squeeze out the water with while it's on this thing. Okay, so that got way bigger. So for foundation, this is a brand new line in Ulta. I believe it's online only right now. I haven't seen it in stores. This is the Bronx Colors Waterproof Foundation. I have the shade Light Beige, which is the lightest shade. Haven't heard anything about this brand. They had a ton of stuff on Ulta from them and it was pretty affordable. It has really nice glass packaging and it's looking pretty light in here. So this is promising, we'll see. And it does have a pump too. So looking on Ulta, this is online only. It says it retails for $12.99. You only get 0.67 fluid ounces of product in here. So not a full ounce. And it comes in six shades. It says it's a waterproof formula that gives you medium to strong coverage, recommended for all skin types. So I'm not doing a full wear test today because when I'm filming this right now, it's like 7 p.m. I actually leave on a trip tomorrow morning. So I can't do a whole full day wear test for this video. I think I'm gonna start with this thing and just go ahead and stick it right in. So this sponge is super wobbly since you are holding it down here. You don't have a whole lot of control over the actual sponge. So I'm gonna use my finger to just keep it down. With this sponge, it's definitely looking like light coverage. I personally like more full coverage foundations, medium to full, just because I obviously have a lot of acne and scarring to cover up, but we can go in and cover anything with concealer that the foundation doesn't cover. Shade-wise, it's looking pretty nice. I almost would rather just hold the sponge. It's kind of annoying to have to hold the stick and the sponge down. It has that weird texture. It doesn't feel like the Real Techniques or Beauty Blender. It has a different consistency to it. It's almost like more rubbery. Let's do the NYX sponge on the other side. And then I might try a brush for the second layer. Size comparison. This one looks like a freaking dinosaur next to this. So I'm using the flat edge on this sponge. Yeah, very light coverage. It has a nice finish though. It looks really nice and luminous. Application was twice as fast with this sponge. Let's see if this foundation is buildable. I'm gonna use the next sponge on this side of my face to see if it's buildable and then go in with the second layer with a brush on this side and see if I can get better coverage. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe E31 brush on the other side. Super luminous finish on this thing. I think I actually like the way it applied better with the sponge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth it out 
and we got pretty much the exact same coverage, still at light coverage. I'm gonna get up close so you guys can see. It has a really pretty and kind of natural look to it though. So I tried to find the new Wet n Wild concealer. I did a full foundation review on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. I have not been able to find the concealer or the new powder anywhere in Seattle, so I'm just using a different drugstore product. If I don't have a new release to use in this video, I'm just using drugstore products. So this is one of my favorite concealers. This is the Collection Cosmetics Lasting Finish. I have to get this on eBay. I'm gonna also use that to spot conceal since we didn't get a whole lot of coverage out of the foundation. Like running out of this thing. Feels weird filming at night right now. I'm actually pretty shocked that the shade of this is light enough. I like the shade of this foundation a lot. And now that I've spot concealed, it's actually looking really nice and smooth. Set the under eyes going in with my normal Stargazer powder. You can get this for five bucks off of Amazon. So this powder is fairly new. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte Powder. This came out when they launched the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I have a full review on that BB Cream. It's one of my favorite products. It was in my 2016 favorites video. I feel like this is one of those powders that's actually kind of taking away some of the coverage right now. Definitely mattified though. Totally just forgot about all of the cream products I was gonna use. <laughs> Great. So I got this Jordana Sculpt and Go Cream Contour Stick. Dang, I really wanted to use this thing. I also have the L'Oreal Blend Artist Contour Blender, which I was gonna use, but cream products do not mesh well on top of powder products, especially on my skin. Maybe I'll try and just patch test this a little bit. I really wanted to use this. It looks like a nice, cool toned color. My cheeks actually don't feel super powdered. So this might work, let's try. Whoa, this is a lot thicker than I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be like super thin thing. This is pretty dang thick. The color of this sponge makes me super happy. Definitely went through a neon phase in college when all I would wear was neon. It's not blending super easily, but that could very well be because I'm trying to put it on top of the powder right now. And this is in the shade 01 Light. Can't remember if I said that. They had three shades in the contour product. They also had highlight cream highlighters which I rarely use, so I didn't pick that one up. Okay, this side actually blended out way nicer. So this I'm super excited about. This is Physician's Formula Bronze Booster Highlight and Contour Palette. There's three shades that come in here. As soon as I saw this middle shade on Instagram, I was on the hunt for this. It looks like it could potentially be a really nice contour shade. Pretty packaging, gold opens up. Whoa, there's a brush under here. This actually doesn't feel too bad. So I'm gonna go in with this middle shade. Let's see what you got. Heck yeah. So the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer that a lot of people love for fair skin, that one just pulls way orange on me. Oh yeah, I'm into this. Not too warm, not too ashy, doesn't look gray. If you're darker than I am, you could use this shade to set your under eyes. These I am super excited to try. I got two of the new Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This is in the shade Plum Ro Primrose? Plum Rose. And then this is Natural Glow. Has the really intense coconut sunscreen smell. This one looks beautiful. I'm gonna go in with this one. This one looks nice and glowy. Taking my Morphe Y5 brush. Ooh, this is super pretty. Almost has like a gold glow when it hits the light. I like this because it doesn't look too peachy. The scent makes me feel like I'm at the Bahamas. I think I'm actually gonna put a little bit of this shade on my temples. Those blend it out super easily and I feel like they have just the right amount of pigment to them. Physicians formula. Killing it. So for a highlight, this palette is also brand new from Physicians Formula. This is the Highlight and Contour Palette Illuminate version. There are three shades. Mine is chilling down there. There's a gold highlight in here, a deeper kind of copper, and then this one looks like pure white. So I'm super excited for this white one. All right, I'm excited. This literally feels like butter. Oh, heck yes. This is intense. This one is definitely more intense than the Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick. If you want like a BAM highlight that doesn't look glittery, this is gorgeous. It looks like almost a wet highlight and I barely tapped my brush in. Oh, got a little excited. My lip highlight right now is out to party. So far, really feeling all those cheek contour highlight products. So for brows, this is brand new by L'Oreal. This is the Brow Stylist Frame and Set Cream Palm Cream Palmade 215 Deep Brunette. This comes with a little brush in here and this looks like the Anastasia Dip Brow. Ardell actually makes one of my favorite brow pomades. I think it's just as good as the Anastasia one. And that's from the drugstore. It's like under nine bucks. Brush feels pretty cheap, but we can use this end. I think the shade of this is perfect. 
It's really creamy, but it doesn't feel like it's sliding around too much. Even with the mattifying CoverGirl powder, this foundation is still coming through. The luminosity, which I personally like, I love when that happens where you can still set your face, but you still see the glow coming through. So this is new from Revlon. They came out with new cream eyeshadows. I can't tell if this one was shimmery. It looked like all the shades besides this one were shimmery. This is M15 Espresso. Cream eyeshadows can be good to serve as a base for your powder eyeshadows. So we're gonna kind of prime with this. There weren't too many things from the new Revlon releases that I was that into. What the heck? So this mini ass brush just slid out of here. That is interesting. Never seen that packaging before. So theoretically you could maybe apply this with this. Let's try it. Sweet, so this one does look matte, which is great. I wish they came out with a lighter matte shade so that you could use it to prime your eyes. This is a pretty color. Since I kind of want to blend this upwards, I'm going to use my finger. Feels super lightweight. Feels a little bit less sticky than the Maybelline Dream Tattoos. Dream Tattoo? Is that what those are called? Color Tattoos? Color Tattoos. If you were just running out the door, I could totally just put this on the lid and kind of blend it out with the blender brush. I think it would be interesting to try this as a contour shade. Can't really blend with these nails, but we're trying. For getting the product onto your eye, this thing actually works fine if you don't want to like dig your nails in there. All right, this is nice too. It is a cool idea that it just slides right into the cap. I like how I just totally shit talked it and I'm like, great job Revlon. Don't judge a book by its cover, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have any new eyeshadow releases that I can use besides the e.l.f. Matte for Matte 2 palette, which I did just use in the Shadow and Schmooze video. I just want to do a super basic eye look because I have some intense falsies to pop on. I'm just gonna go in with the second shade over and blend. We already have a nice base down with that brown. I'm still in shock from this highlight. If you wanted to, you could definitely just stop here and put on mascara or eyeliner or whatever. I'm gonna add a little bit more depth to the crease. I'm just gonna go in with this darker brown shade right here. Elf also came out with a new foundation. I wanna say it's aqua, aqua something. Let me know if you guys would wanna see that, maybe for a foundation Friday or something. I'm gonna go back and blend with that brush. This is the Morphe 511, by the way. I put all of the brushes and products I use every single video in the description box. Everything is linked. Before you comment, check the down bar. I'm planning on doing an all matte eye look, but I almost wanna go back in with the Physicians Formula Highlight and use that gold or bronze shade on the lid. I think that'd be really pretty. Let's do it. I don't wanna take this coppery shade, the darker one. Who needs eyeshadow? This looks just as beautiful as eyeshadow. Super metallic. I'm just gonna go back in with that first brown shade that we used and blend some of this on the lower lash line. Just to pull it all together. It is so freaking hard not to open your mouth when you do this. The skills you get by doing YouTube. I think we're actually gonna skip out on the liquid liner today. I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I think I've used this one time before. I was not super impressed if I remember correctly, but we're going in with falsies anyways after this. So I just wanna try it again. The amount of money Maybelline has spent on this Big Shot campaign. You'd think they just created the most revolutionary mascara on planet Earth. It's more of a dry formula. It does look nice and lengthening. Whoa, that dried super fast actually. Everyone's mascara preferences are super different. So I found two new lash lines at Walgreens. I found the Kiss Faux Mink Collection, Lash, Lash Couture Collection. They had about four different styles. And then I also saw this, which I'm super excited about. This is the iLore Vlogger Collection. How freaking cool is it that there's a vlogger series? This would not have happened five years ago. So congrats, Nicole. I think there were three or four other vloggers in this collection, but I got 143 by Nicole Guerrero. This was the one that was just speaking to me. Then iLore makes one of my favorite lashes, 121. The bands on these are pretty thick. Oh man, I'm excited. I feel like I always have some good life pondering when my eyelash glue is drying. Literally <laughs> crap is flying all over right now. And my foundation palette just went face down on the carpet. When I move out of this apartment, the people are gonna be like, what, what's happening in this room? There's lash glue all over, there's false eyelashes stuck to places. My eyelashes just got real heavy. These would be really nice prom or special events lashes. I'm just gonna do a thin coat of the Big Shot Mascara on the bottom lashes. I usually use my Wet n Wild Mega Length. We got this out, might as well use it. So Walgreens had a display of these brand new Jordana liquid lipsticks. I haven't heard anything about these yet. It looked like there were at least 10 shades to me in these, so they had a really nice shade range. I only picked up two shades because I wanted to see how the formula is. But I have the shade 07 Tiramisu and then 23 Buttercream Frosting. This one totally speaks to me, so I think we're gonna try out this first. This one has given me Stila Patina vibes. Oh, just got an itch on my eye. I am excited. These were $4.99. These smell really good. It smells 
almost exactly like Cold Stone cake batter ice cream. Very thin, I can tell off the bat, very thin formula. This looks a lot peachier on than it does in the tube to me. On my skin tone, it's looking very peachy. It's going on nice and smooth and not patchy. It hasn't totally dried down yet. I think I'm gonna actually add tiramisu over top. Ooh, this looks pretty. This is like a deeper berry. Hopefully you can't hear my roommate right now. <laughs> She's on the phone. So it takes about 20 to 30 seconds for these to fully dry down, but when they do, they are totally dry, isn't transferring. I'll update you guys on Snapchat how these wear, but this shade is beautiful. It's a nice deep rose shade, really pretty. So that is everything. I am pleasantly surprised by most of the stuff I tried. I think my bottom least favorite three products that I tried is probably this Revlon sponge. Don't really think you need a stick. And I just don't like this material a whole lot. The Maybelline Colossal Big Shot, this is nice. It just didn't totally wow me. And then this shade of the Jordana for my skin tone just looks a little bit off, a little bit too orangey, but the formula and the way it applied went on totally fine. These do feel pretty drying now that I've had it on for a couple minutes. They feel almost exactly like the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips. Actually, yeah, that is exactly what these remind me of. My top three, this is hard because I actually like a bunch of the stuff that I've tried. This contour shade, beautiful. This highlight, beautiful if you want a more intense highlight. Really like the blush. I would totally use this cream eyeshadow again, especially if you have green eyes. This just kind of makes them pop. Even though this foundation is very light coverage. I like the shade of it. I like how it's sitting on my skin right now. I think I could use this and just spot conceal. I'm not doing a full wear test in this video, but I will wear it again and update you guys on Snapchat. If you want to see full foundation reviews, I do Foundation Friday every single Friday on my channel. I also do 15 Days of Foundation. So both of those playlists are always linked down below in the description box. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, you can join the Bay Rito family and subscribe. I upload pretty much Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.